Uh, well, thank you very much, Prime Minister, and uh, it's great to have you uh, once again here in Tasmania, uh, which is a truly uh, remarkable uh, moment in time for uh, the wonderful city of Hobart, but for all uh, Tasmanians. Uh, can I also acknowledge and uh, commend uh, your team with us here today, uh, Senator Collins, sorry, uh, Minister Collins, Minister King and indeed Senator Brown as well and great to be joined uh, by my colleagues uh, Nick Street, uh, Dean Young and uh, Madeleine Ogilvy as well. United uh, in uh, the, an investment of a truly iconic uh, place in the world. Uh, the city of Hobart, uh, Tasmania's uh, capital city. Uh, this precinct uh, is uh, truly uh, remarkable and a precinct that all Tasmanians uh, can embrace and indeed be very, very proud of. Uh, today we have uh, federal and uh, state governments uh, once again uh, working together uh, to bring investment and opportunity uh, to Tasmania. And what a remarkable opportunity uh, this will be. Uh, a $240 million contribution from uh, the federal government uh, to add to our uh, significant investment. Uh, to transform uh, this site, uh, ripe for uh, development. Uh, an urban renewal project uh, like no other that has ever been seen here in Tasmania, uh, where we can unlock potential, uh, where we can uh, build a world-class uh, multi-purpose uh, entertainment and sporting venue, uh, where all Tasmanians uh, can enjoy all Tasmanians can come here and be entertained uh, and watch their favourite footy team, uh, which will be uh, their own uh, Tasmanian AFL team, after decades of wanting, uh, hoping uh, and dreaming uh, to have our own side. But this is more uh, than just a multi-purpose uh, sporting and entertainment venue. Uh, this is an urban renewal project. Uh, of which will unlock a potential uh, for housing, uh, unlock potential for uh, small business, uh, entertainment, uh, sport, uh, but also uh, bring together a significant uh, transport infrastructure. Uh, the Northern uh, Transit uh, Corridor, for example, uh, unlocking the ferry potential. And it's fantastic that uh, just in its first year operation, uh, we have a ferry uh, network that uh, 110,000 Tasmanians uh, have been able to uh, enjoy and get to work on. Uh, this is just a very small uh, part of what could be an enormous opportunity in terms of uh, urban transport uh, precinct uh, renewal. And it's fantastic that uh, we will have uh, in uh, the not too distant future, uh, Tasmanians will uh, gather here uh, this will be a place of uh, great enjoyment, uh, reflection. Uh, there will be Tasmanians uh, that set up small businesses here, uh, create opportunity uh, for themselves and indeed uh, their families, and Tasmanians will also live here as well. Uh, this is uh, truly a historic moment when it comes to the federal and state governments uh, working hand in hand uh, on a significant urban renewal project uh, that all uh, Tasmanians can be uh, truly proud of. And uh, it can deliver, absolutely, uh, that long-held, uh, decades-old dream of having our own team uh, singing our own song in our own colours and having that aspiration of uh, young Tasmanians, uh, maybe even Zoe and Thomas, uh, <laughs> can also dream uh, to both play uh, in uh, the AFL Naval W uh, League at some point uh, in time. It's about uh, big dreams. And you know what? Some of the hardest projects uh, to deliver are the best. And this has been some journey uh, for the Prime Minister, who stood uh, not too far away in 2012 uh, with a significant investment of $50 million uh, to uh, start, if you like, a vision uh, and a dream. And here we are uh, over a decade later. I'm very proud to be uh, the Premier 
uh, that in lockstep with the Prime Minister, being able to uh, finally uh, get things done and get it done uh, for not only southern Tasmania, uh, but all Tasmanians that can be truly proud of what this precinct will be, I know, in decades uh, to come. Thank you very much.